And for many years, um, I'm almost 70, so that means many years, I have been also a long-standing critic of popular culture, writing book reviews, writing essays, etc. And um, I've been teaching honors courses for a while now, uh, Tolkien, Butler, Introduction to Science Fiction, and now, yes, Game of Thrones. Um, and for those of you who are familiar with it, you know that uh, Martin <coughs> already produced five books in the game in the Ice and Fire series, and these are fat books, so that's kind of a warning. You are going to be doing some reading. We probably won't be reading all five of them. But he's also written a prequel, and he's promised us he's going to do a sequel to the prequel and the rest of the sequel that he hasn't finished yet. So um, uh, he has made available some sections of the series, and then he's got a few prequel stories about this funny little boy that grows up to be the emperor. Um, and, but we're not just going to be looking at the fiction or the, the award-winning TV series, by the way, 12 Emmy Awards this last time around, and which has uh, gone through its last season now, the eighth season. What we're really also going to be looking at is one of my main interests, which is narrative structures, how the narrative is put together and paralleling the, the TV series and the novels around questions of a new, an emerging field in popular culture called adaptation studies. Um, adaptation studies is fascinating because it addresses that whole narrative, um, the narrative effect that, uh, on, on the viewer and the reader. And, um, we're, but we're also going to be looking at the Game of Thrones universe and some of the moral issues and historical issues like the War of the Roses that come up in the, the uh, novels and video. We're, and we're going to be looking at other topics such as, and I don't know how many of you are familiar with this, um, uh, event tourism, fan and reception studies, all of these areas that have grown up around the vast involvement of social media in uh, the <clears throat> um, experience of, of um, these uh, massive series like Game of Thrones. So at the end, I hope that we have an appreciation of the global cultural influence Martin's work has had um, as a result of the, it being so embedded in media. And um, that we'll have a better idea of how a written form go becomes film. George started out writing, um, and when I first met him, and I don't claim to know him anymore, he's too rich and famous, but when I first met him, he was just writing fiction. And he, I don't know if you are familiar with the, um, the uh, uh, Beauty and the Beast series, he got his start writing for television in that a very long time ago. And so his roots are in fiction, but he has gone through that trajectory of, of writing for, for um, for a production, he knows what television series look like and stuff like that. So I think we can learn a lot from this transition about how the narrative forms uh, change. Maybe even do a little bit of it ourselves. <laughs>